City, Thomas, 137 Lehigh Street, Wilkesbury. Uh, just a, a few issues I wanted to address council. Uh, regarding uh, the Iron Triangle and height sections of Wilkesbury, we have an ongoing problem on the corner of Clark Avenue and Lehigh. We have two businesses, uh, a garage and uh, a store. And um, I've been in contact with the police chief. And uh, we were supposed to have some, some issues uh, solved, but we haven't. The, the problem is, is that with the store in the morning, especially between the hours of quarter to eight and 8.30, we have double and triple parking. It's sometimes impossible to get to the light and make a left turn in order to go up to the Heights Park. Um, they're, they're breaking every law they possibly could, everywhere that's the park and the park in front of fire hydrants. Uh, there, were, there were a couple bus accidents. Uh, it's an ongoing problem and it's just getting worse. And with the weather breaking, it's just getting a lot worse. I'm afraid for the children, the students, getting off the bus, getting on the bus. Uh, it's to the point now that it's, it's from, it goes from Lehigh Street to Hill Street. Uh, the corner of Hill and Park Ave start to be very busy in the morning, not to mention all the illegal parking. There's, there's, it seems like there's illegal activity going on, but that's not for me to say. Uh, we have cars that are parked out on the streets for two and three months at a time. They're still sitting there. Uh, Ivy Lane runs, uh, runs alongside the house. We have an ongoing problem with mini bikes, so not dirt bikes, mini bikes. I had a six-year-old to tell me to go F myself the other day when I asked him not to drive it because he was going to get hit, probably decapitated, because he went out to Lee High Street from Ivy Lane. And it's just a really bad accident waiting to happen. We have enough going on in Iron Triangle right now. We don't need any more. And the issue with the store and this other business, this garage, it's got to be resolved, because if it's not resolved, someone's going to get hurt. It's going to be a bad accident up there. Someone, so, someone's going to get killed. But it has to be resolved, and it's got to be resolved soon. The summer's coming, like I said, and we're going to have we're going to have some major issues. Other than that, I have nothing else to say tonight. My complaints are about the Iron Triangle section. It just seems like the inmates are are, are taking over the asylum and enrolling home. No, I'm sorry, in Iron Triangle, and and the issues have to be have to be resolved. And this is basically between 7:45 and 8:30 in the morning. Oh, and it's, it goes on till 11 o'clock at night, also. But this, this mini bike thing, I mean, you know, I know the police can only come by so many times, but when you're on patrol every night for five, five nights a week, and, and you, you see the same car for two months parked in the street, not moved, that, come on, it tells you something, you gotta do something about it. But the, the areas between Hill Street, Lehigh and Park Ave, and Ivy Lane, going into Ivy Lane, and Hudson Street, is, is an act, a huge accident waiting to happen. And something has to be done to resolve it. Yes. The mini bike problem is this: this now they're, they're starting to charge for rides at the end of Ivy Lane. The kids all stand in line. There's one year 25 room, and there's three mini bikes, and they charge these kids to drive up and down Ivy Lane. And what, and what time is it? Oh, that's from after school. Sometimes the, uh, during the uh, weekend, it's from 10 in the morning to 11 at night. They don't wear helmets. Doesn't make it legal because it's a, it's illegal to drive a mini bike in the city. But the problem is, is that they're coming down Ivy Lane and they're turning around off Lehigh Street. And I mean, I don't want to see any kid get killed. Yeah. And when I ask them to turn around in the middle of the alley, if they're going to ride them, to turn around in the middle of the alley, I get cursed at, screamed at. Well, it's not up to me anymore, it's up to you guys. Something's got to be done about the corner and about Ivy Lane. And I know how to street. But something has to be done. And if you, if so, if you just want to sit there on a school day, I know that a few city employees have a problem with issue too. With it too. The garbage trucks can't even get around these people. It's ridiculous what's going on up there. They're taking, they're parking in front of fire riders, they're triple parked, and no one seems to want, to want to do anything about it. I mean, get parking enforcement up there for a week and get, you know, give them a hint. Maybe they'll take the hint. They, don't, they just don't care. They just think they can do whatever they want to do when they want to do it, and someone's got to put a stop to it. Okay, we pay we pay good money to keep up our home. We have one of the nicest homes in in the Iron Triangle. And you know, it's it's like beating a dead horse. I'm tired, sick and tired of putting money, and my parents are putting money in their home. And for what? For what? It looks like it, it looks like a third world country on, on Lehigh Street. 
I'm, I'm, I'm behind the park app. It's time. It's time that we wake up because we're not only going to have shootings, we're going to have people get killed by vehicles and, and, other, and other things. It's, it's just not going to be a pretty sight. We have to do something. So I'm asking you before the summer starts and it gets really out of hand to do something. I, I've had it. I know the, the neighbors have had it. And I appreciate it. Thank okay? You.